Have you ever wondered why when political leaders or Hollywood celebrities with a political voice visit war-torn areas of the world, they never seem to be molested by the ones they keep claiming are our enemies? They are never prevented from going to these areas. They're never harassed while they're in these areas or even injured in any way, shape, or form in an area they claim to be a literal war zone. We'll check this article out. Perhaps this will clear things up for you. Trudeau, who is actually a Roman Catholic, was caught vacationing on the private island of an Islamic leader. Now, even if you're not a student of prophecy and only skimmed over the prophecies of the Bible out of curiosity one day and found how all the world is going to wonder after the beast and do his bidding in the end, then even you can see now, as it was prophesied long ago, that the leaders of the nations in the last days are all going to be working together for the same demonic cause of their political god in Rome that the Bible defines as the man of sin. Hence the reason they all bow to him and worship on camera. Trudeau had no fear to go to a terrorist-owned private island because they are partners in the same crime. And thanks to the Pope's work with Islam, they are also partners in the same church. And yes, this is also why all the churches that have joined with the same man of sin in Rome are right now pushing Islam by declaring Allah is God. I mean, one can only imagine how long it's going to be before Sharia law is sanctioned by all the apostate leaders of the Christian churches. I mean, after all, American courts have been legalizing it for years. Truth be told, these pastors, while being under their 501c3 contract with the Second Beast of Revelation, which all students of prophecy know is the USA, they know that these government-approved pastors have absolutely no choice but to do as they're told. And because of mass Jesuit infiltration, most will do so for Mother Rome as their oath confirms. I mean, the basic reality is this. If the 501c3 pastors, who are merely bowing to Rome and they're not actual Jesuits, they bow out of fear because they don't want to upset the man of sin, who is their elected leader, as of June 26, 2000. And as per their own contract, they know if they refuse to bow to his wishes, they're going to lose their precious tax-free status, wherein they make a ton of money each and every year at tax time. And as is so obvious, none of them are going to jeopardize that green goddess of cash because these preachers of filthy lucre are going to do exactly as the prophecy said they will do. And so like Trudeau, who sees no problem with hanging with Islam, the wolves in sheep's clothing across this nation are also seeing no problem standing with Islam. Thank you for watching. God bless.